Ethereum's next big step is here, and it's called Fusaka. This is not just another upgrade, but a structural shift in how the blockchain scales, how rollups operate, and how developers and user experience actually changes around decentralized apps. If you care about lower fees, faster transactions, and layer two ecosystems that can finally live up to the hype, Fusaka might just be the turning point. In this video, we'll break down what Fusaka actually brings, how it impacts scaling and fees, and what the market reaction looks like, and of course where the potential risks lie. Let's jump in. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, guys. This is never financial advice. Always do your own research. So what is Fusaka precisely? Well, Fusaka's major breakthrough is introducing peer data availability sampling or peer DAS instead of requiring every node to download large blobs of data. Nodes can now actually sample small random pieces, which drastically reduces data load. This unlocks massive data throughput, allowing more layer two rollups to post data efficiently without overloading Ethereum mainnet storage. Ethereum's Fusaka also includes optimizations around gas economics, execution changes, and cryptographic primitives to make the protocol more efficient, scalable, and future-proof. In short, Fusaka rewires Ethereum for a roll-up first world, where layer twos can scale freely, data posting becomes cheaper, and user experience improves without sacrificing security or decentralization. But let's talk about the real impact with fees, throughput, and scale potential. With Fusaka's blob capacity expansion, plus more efficient data availability, layer twos can post larger data batches per block. Fee transactions or batches become significantly cheaper and more predictable, and as well as that, rollups get higher throughput and lower latency, meaning faster finality for users. That makes Fusaka not just a developer update, it's a user experience upgrade. Rollups no longer have to compete for limited block space. Instead, they get scalable, affordable data settlement and keep costs low even as adoption grows. This transforms layer two from cheap but slow at times into fast, cheap, and scalable. Now, how's the market reacting so far? Well, early signs are promising. Analysts and the media are calling Fusaka a shift, not just a patch. The upgrade demonstrates Ethereum's ability to roll out high impact upgrades faster with boosting confidence among developers, investors, and institutions institutions. For layer two projects, those built to leverage blob posting and data availability stand to benefit enormously from this upgrade. Lower costs plus higher throughput equal better margins and faster growth across the board. If adoptions happens or rollups migrate or newly launch using Fusaka's infrastructure, token value across the ecosystem could see renewed growth, not just from speculative demand, but real usage activity. That potentially makes a good entry point for long-term holders, but only if adoption truly scales. Now, of course, Ethereum itself has been bouncing around over the past few years, but with this quiet upgrade creeping in while the rest of the market is looking at Bitcoin, this could really change the surface of Ethereum and what it's for and who uses it as well as who builds on it. Now, of course, nothing is perfect. Fusaka comes with a lot of caveats. Rollups must integrate properly. If adoption is slow, Fusaka remains a theoretical benefit. Blob-based data availability still needs robust tooling and auditing and increased blob capacity could stress validators or data availability networks if mismanaged. Now, token valuations will remain volatile. Fee savings don't automatically equal price growth. But here is the conclusion. Fusaka is one of the most important upgrades Ethereum has seen in years. It's not just a patch, it's a structural shift that paves the way for scalable, cheap, roll-up first ecosystems. If layer two developers and users embrace it wisely, it could unlock a huge new wave of decentralized apps, affordable fees, and broader crypto adoption. For those watching the long game, this could be a major inflection point for Ethereum.
So what should you do based on this upgrade? Well, if you want to explore Fusaka further, check the links in the description, upgrade docs, technical guides, and blockchain analytics dashboards. If you like this breakdown, hit subscribe, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and I'll keep covering the major upgrades like this as they roll out. See you in the next one.